a suspected serial killer, Gracious David West, arrested by the police, has admitted killing at least seven women in hotels in Lagos State, Owere in Imo State, Port Harcourt in River State. So far, he has killed five girls in Port Harcourt, one in Owere, and another in Lagos. He has a way of a people. I don't know what is wrong with me. So the pastor told me that they have a program, a crusade program on Friday. That was on Thursday when. So they don't, they don't allow people to sleep in the church. I should come on Friday that he will take me to the crusade. So I will see the agenda of us here on Lord Tuesday. So I went for the crusade, but there was no way of me seeing the general of us here. So when we came back on Monday, he told me they had no other option to help me that I should go. So that's I left his place. That was one week plus ago. So that's it. Sir. So from there you went where? I left his place. I left the church when we came back. I had to go and lodge in the hotel. So when you lodged in the hotel, what happened? So I slept alone that day. I was not with anybody. Okay, then later what happened? All these serial killings in the hotel. You said you have been doing it. Yeah, I'm the one. You are the one doing it. I don't know, I don't deny it. What is the motive? What is the motive? Tell us. That's because I don't know. It's whenever it come on, come, 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 come on me. That's what I'll do. It. I was with the girl day before yesterday. I left this. I didn't have the girl. The girl left and I also left. The letter confirmed it on where they kept me yesterday. When the girl was calling the line. I didn't do anything to the person. The girl left and I also left. It's when it come on me, that's when I found the person. When it come on you, just go and yes, change. The letter you will regret. Yes, sir. And you will be sober. Then you will still go back again and do another one. Yes, sir. Okay, how do you get this girl in the hotel? And how do you kill them? Because we have seen similar things, modus, the same modus operandi. Tell us how do you do the killing in, in when you enter the hotel. What, how, when and around what time you I do buy, this? I, I buy a knife from this house, a people, kitchen knife. Kitchen knife? Yes, sir. Those are also put that used to push truck. So when, when we go inside the hotel after eating, after making love, we we'll sleep for some time. So after sleeping, after on that some time, the girl, I wake the girl up. But to be unknown to her, when she's sleeping, I would not hold her on her leg. And I now use the knife on her leg. The letter don't shout. If she shout before that, I will follow the television. I will now remove the knife from her leg. I tell her the letter just cooperate with me. If not, I will kill her, but if she complete, I will not kill her. So the girl will not relax, she will not have any dragging with me. I will not do that, that this is what I will do to her. I will not kill her, but I will tie her and keep her. She will use that to deceive her. So after that, I will tear the pillow kit on the, on the, on the uh, pillow. She will hold it and tear the pillow. After tearing the pillow, she I will use it and I like that. But I want to kill her, she will not have to um, drag her with me. That's what I did for me. Then uh, after that one, you told us that uh, you used to ask her about the pin number of her ATM. Yes. Some of them will tell me we that's the other pin, that's the right one, that they have money in their account. So we will not tell them which one to ask them that. How much do you have money in your account? How much do you have that you should check your business or your phone? But then I've used the knife on the person's leg, the person will be afraid. The person will not tell me that they have to say, man, they will not check it. So after you kill her, you now go outside in the ATM card, ATM, I remove the money. I will stay inside the hotel when they are broken. In two to three hours after when they are broken, I will sit in the chair. Then I will stay to that end. If they use the laundry and drop out my clothes, and after they the washing, because the mother will bring me by eight. They say that the cloth has to be dry, they don't have to be dry. So they will bring me by eight or nine. After we are in the club, I will not leave the hotel. Okay, so now tell us how many girls, according to your own uh, own record, how many girls within Port Harcourt you have killed? How many? Five. I know the hotels. You know all the hotels you killed? Yes. Yeah. Well, I did one in Lagos and one in Uwere. Uwere and Lagos. Which one you did first? Is this the one in Lagos or the one in Port Harcourt or the one in Uwere? How, when did you start killing girls? Because, because, because that was where I had money from. The girl had some money in her account, maybe 2,000 naira. 
So that was the one I traveled down to Kotai Coast. So I went to Uri. So that's the way I came to Kotai Coast. Okay. So you, you started in Lagos and you went to Potako, I mean Uri? No, I came to Potako. Potako. Okay, then you still came back to. Yes, I saw the girl at the club. You saw the girl at the club? Yes, in that way they wrote, there are so many clubs there. There are so many of them in that way. They are there. So that is the position now. That was a question we asked. After that, <laughs> okay. I will collect their phone. After collecting their phone, there is one boy that is fighting from me. Waterline. Waterline. It's made in China. Yes, we have a small shop, shop there. That's Waterline. After you pass the TV station, that's Waterline. People are going to the coast road. There is a park on that place close to the Waterline. The one is at MTM office. They used to buy food for you, but that one does not have the shop. It starts on the road side. Those are the people that bought the food from me. So, that was the place you have heard from the horse's mouth. He's still not in the handcuff, but we chain him on the leg. But we allow him to relax so that there was no torture, no intimidation, nothing. Out there, you've heard it all. Don't joke with your life. Life is too precious. Leave your comments and subscribe to my channels. Thank you.